All right. All right, you guys. I'm going to read this. I'm going to give you my thoughts on this article that states that before Dwayne The Rock Johnson became a WWE legend, left and took over Hollywood, he almost walked away from it all. The Surefire Future Hall of Famer made his debut as Rocky Maivia in 1996 at the Survivor Series. Thank you very much. With the company rebuilding after a downturn in financial fortune before the boom of the Attitude Era. Best era of all time. Thank you very much. This meant there was actually a time early in his run when his run when he told J.J. Dillon Wait a minute. J.J. Dillon was in WCW at the time, not WWE. Or WWF at the time. That makes no sense. Because he was broke and needed to earn some more money that he wanted to leave the WWE. WWF at the time. Because he was broke and needed to earn some more money. Speaking with JBL, Gerald Briscoe, Dylan said, Rock, he was going to get the push of his life, but he couldn't see at that point how really big that opportunity was going to be for him. He had everything. He was multiracial. He had the size. He had, he had athletic ability. He had everything. And I came up there and said, can I talk to you privately? And I'm pretty sure Rock said to him, yeah, you have connections everywhere. I'm asking you to help me, to help me get out of here and find a place for me to go. Again, this makes no sense. Rock, what, okay, J.J. Dillon at the time was in the WCW, not the WWF, as it was called at the time. So I listened to him and I said, there's more to this story than what you're telling me. All right. All right, Rock. You, you need to kind of trust me and open up to me and tell me what's going on in your head. What's really, really troubling you? Good question. Rock, whose Seven Bucks production company is named in honor of Another rough time in his life, candidly opened up about his money issues. Dylan made an offer that would have had a profound and lasting impact on the future, I mean on the face of WWE and Hollywood. That's, okay, that's a good point. After talking about it a little bit, he reached in his pocket and he, and he had a $10 bill and a couple of singles, he recalled. Oh boy, yep, that photo right there was Austin the Rock as they were getting ready for their match at WrestleMania 17, I believe. Would have turned out very differently had Rock not even been there at all. And he said, this is all the money I have to my name. I've never been in a situation where everybody talks about this great potential that I have. But for me, I have 12 bucks in my pocket. And that's eating away at me. Okay, that now that makes sense. That makes a little sense. Okay. All right. I said, well, I'm glad that you opened up to me and told me. Because that's something that can be an easy fix. True. So I don't know where we were. I said, go up to the box office and pull $200. And I'll sign for it and I'll work it out. They came to me and gave me $200 in cash. Okay, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. Rock ba so Rock basically had, had, this, had only $12 in his pocket. So, yeah, but wait a minute. At the time, I think he was, I think he had just recently, like, Graduated from the University of Miami. So I don't imagine he would have had a whole lot of money at the time. I came to, I called the rock over and I shook his hand 
and palmed him $200 in cash. I said, now you've got money in your pocket. You can eat. You're okay. This little speed bump in the road. Okay. That I'm, Now, that's crazy. I couldn't do justice to the business by allowing you to just not take full opportunity to this, full advantage of this opportunity. Just because you are caught in a position where you don't have any cash in your pocket. And they've all been there. And again, like I said before, this may have been sometime shortly after he, um, you know, graduated from the University of Miami. So, yeah. Dylan noted this was a turning point for Dwayne, who had debuted at Survivor Series shortly before the conversation took place. But his, but his pay-per-view debut was at Survivor Series, so, yeah. Okay. As transcribed by, Fl by Fightful, he added, He gave me a big hug, and that was the turning point for him. Just having that money in his pocket so that he could eat and do what he wanted. I was, I just was in the right place at the right time and knew the right thing to do. Well, if you ask me, if you ask me, so basically what this article's saying is, J.J. Dillon was the one who got, you know, who basically helped The Rock become, you know, become, become some, becomes, become a somebody in this business. And then, of course, with his, you know, wrestling ability... He, well, you know, became the big star in the business that he was. Which, again, guys, I'm going to say this right here now in case I haven't said it enough. Maybe the reason why he didn't have enough, he didn't have a lot of money in his pocket is because he may have just graduated very recently from the University of Miami. So take that into consideration if you guys ever read this article. Alright? So I want to hear from you guys and, f and hear what you guys have to say. So if you guys could, um, you know, share your thoughts on it, you know? Do you think that basically The Rock, you know, became the big name star that he is in the business? Because of his natural talent? Or was it because of James J. Dillon? Who again, I still remember in 1996, him being in WCW. Unless he was working for both companies at the time, which I do not remember. Alright. So why don't you go ahead and, uh, you know, just share your thoughts on this video. And um, guys... Till next time. Alright.